Hey, my name is Harish Puthakodu. I'm a senior here at North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. And for the past two years, uh, I've been in a program called Research in Physics. And I applied to this program early junior year because I thought, huh, you know, I have a certain kind of passion for physics and mathematics and just trying to figure out new things about the world that maybe someday change the world. So I thought, okay, maybe I can do that by going into research. So I applied to this program and was accepted. And toward the beginning of the program, when we were all generating ideas, you know, what are we going to do? I thought, you know, I did something back in the day. So let me back up and explain that to you. So four years ago, in my eighth grade year, um, I was at a middle school where all of us were forced to do a science fair. So I went to my dad and I'm like, hey, what can I do? What can I do for this science fair? And he told me, you know what judges like? Judges like things that will save them money. So do renewable energy. So I'm like, okay. So we sat down and just talked for a little while. And what we came up with was an intriguing idea. It's using the wind draft of cars. And what I mean by the wind draft of cars is, you know, when your car is rolling by, driving by on the road. You know, if you're standing by the road, you can feel kind of the gushes of air coming by. And that's because the car is literally dragging the air along with it, and you can feel that. So I thought, hey, why can't we harness that energy and put miniature wind turbines on the sides of roads and use that air, that drag, that dragged air, to cause these, cause these turbines to rotate. So back in eighth grade, I went through with it. That's the thing that my dad and I did. So we went through the entire process, you know, the scientific method and stuff, and until we got to our conclusions after our, uh, analyzing our data. And what we found is it worked. You know, we put these miniature wind turbines on sides of roads, and they actually generate electricity from the wind draft of cars. In eighth grade, it was purely can putting wind turbines on the side of a road generate electricity. Now, it's a little bit more like, well, okay, I've shown that it can happen. Let me confirm that and then see how much can they generate? How can I predict how much they're going to generate? And how can I kind of model this using modern age technology and apply that so I can get a better sense of exactly what's going on out there? Uh, research is certainly not easy. Uh, you'd think for me just putting a bunch of fans on the side of a, a road with fast moving cars, I'd be done in a week, but it took about a year to get everything ready to get out there, building my turbines, get that out there. And I ran into so many problems. I didn't spend a year doing nothing. I spent a year being confused, angry, but ultimately satisfied. Ah, day seven. It's my seventh day out here of counting cars, overseeing the experiment, and making sure your drunk drivers don't run into my wind turbines. I'm tired. It's hot, so I'm sweating, like the skin's coming off of my bones. And, I don't know, it's just nerve-wracking. I don't know if I can handle all this stress. But, I only have a few more days, I only have a few more trials. I think it's all going well, but let's see. I really, really hope it stays this way. So yeah, I did all this kind of work, and I got to these really cool conclusions. First off, I could confirm that, yeah, you can generate electricity from the wind draft of cars using miniature wind turbines on the sides of roads. But I got something else that's even more cool. You know, I was able to create kind of mathematical functions where I could, you know, give in a set of parameters about a situation. You know, you give me a bunch of environmental factors or things like that, I can spit out approximately how much power your turbine's gonna output. And then, you know, I gotta tinker with a bunch of different cool computational toys. And that was kind of the basis of the fun and the interest I had in this, the ability for me to tinker with things that I hadn't done before, explore the unknown to me. I hope I've inspired you by this point, because now I'm going to say, it's your turn.